Hello friends, welcome to my channel Instrument Calibration. In this video, I am going to show you how to prepare a different salt solutions for calibration of Vaisala humidity transmitter. You have to have salt solutions in order to calibrate any Vaisala humidity transmitter. So there are four different types of salt solutions. First, lithium chloride, LiCl. LiCl generates a reference humidity of approximately 11% RH. It is normally used as a dry end references. Note, never add water to dry LiCl salt. The salt may heat up so rapidly that it splashes out of chamber. Second, a magnesium chloride, MgCl. MgCl generates a reference humidity of approximately 13% RH. It is often used as a checkpoint if calibration performed at more than two points. Third, sodium chloride, NaCl. NaCl generates a reference humidity of approximately 75% RH. It is used as a wet end references for props measuring in application with uh, normal humidities. Four, a potassium sulfate. Potassium sulfate generates a reference humidity of approximately 97% RH. Potassium sulfate is used as a wet end references for a props measuring in application with very high humidities. Typically 90 to 100% RH, for example, outdoor and concrete measurements. So, how to prepare a salt solutions? The following photo shows the HMK 15 calibrator with some accessories. Step 1 Take the calibrator out of the box. Open the transit cover of the chamber. Remove the measurement cover from the chamber ho holder and place the transit cover on the holder. See figure. Step 2. Pour iron exchange water into the chamber. The required amounts are given in the table. For lithium chloride, Add 12 ml of water into a chamber. For magnesium chloride, add 3 ml of water into a chamber. For NaCl, add 10 ml of water. For potassium sulfate, add 10 ml of water. Step 3. Sprinkle the contents of salt package or measure the salt according to the table in a small quantities into the chamber and stirring constantly. When measuring with the measurement cup, make sure that the cup is clean and dry. Rinse and dry the cup after every use. Uh, for example, if you are preparing lithium chloride, add uh, 15 gram or 18 ml of uh, LiCl into the chamber. For a magnesium chloride, add uh, 30 gram or 30 ml of MgCl2 into a chamber. For a sodium chloride, add 20 gram or 15 ml of NaCl into a chamber. For potassium sulfate, add 30 gram or 20 ml of uh, K2SO4 into the chamber. Make sure that you sprinkle a correct dose of salt into the chamber and stirring constantly. Step 4. When all salt has been sprinkled into the chamber, the saturated salt solution should have the ratio of 60 to 90 percent undissolved salt to 10 to 40 percent of liquid. Step 5. Close the chamber with the chamber cover. Step 6. 
fasten the salt chamber on the holder in the base plate and close the measurement holes with the rubber plugs. The chambers can also be used as a individual checkers without the base plate. Step 7. Write the preparation date on the sticker and mark the chamber with it. If you use a ready dose salt package, use the sticker with the batch code. Mark all the parts of salt chamber, chamber cover and the transit cover with stickers. This way, various covers and different salts do not get mixed. Step 8. Allow approximately 24 hours for stabilization before use so that the salt solution reaches the equilibrium humidity. After 24 hours, your solutions are ready to use for calibration. In next video, I will show you how to do calibration of Vaisala HMT360 transmitter by using a salt solutions. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel to see more videos like this.